I know some of you might be wondering why we should even bother studying about communications theory at all when so much of our concern in the course and, and out in the real world is actually in the practice of communications. Can't we just simply have some rules of thumb? Do we really have to dress it up in terms of theory? Well, two responses to that. Uh, first of all, the theory, in a sense, like all theories, is an attempt to make sense of our world at large, to find the universal in the particular. And if we have some theoretical foundations, this carries us through time and place. So it's important in that sense. Uh, also, though, theory uh, developed over a number of decades can give reinforcement to our intuitions or our stories we tell ourselves in practice uh, about what works, why things work, and very often why things don't work. So particularly in communications, this is hugely important because we've seen so many examples right from the beginning of the course of communication fails. And theory prompts us to go back and to reflect on ourselves and our assumptions that we make about our audiences, about communications channels, about what our audiences will be perceiving of us and our intentions when we engage in communications. And also the communications theory has some bigger issues that it raises for us. Whether we should be optimistic about the potential to change the world through communications or whether there are rather more grounds for pessimism. Is communication technology, communications design going to be used primarily by powerful governments, powerful companies to manipulate uh, opinion, to make people want what they don't really need, as Naomi Klein, for example, in, in argued in her influential book, No Logo. Uh, is it going to be the case that states and powerful interests manipulate the perceptions of populations to cooperate with, for example, policy settings or corporate strategy uh, that ultimately is not in their interests, that is the, uh, the mass audience, but in the interests of people who are paying for the communications. So there's some of the issues that I want to talk about when I explore the theory. And you already have a set of slides which summarize some of the key developments in communications theory in the 60 odd years since uh, communications theory started to be talked about seriously by academics. And to uh, identify some of the key people who are associated with various shifting schools of thought.